I live and work in Uttarakhand in the central Himalayan region. And my project is about generating electricity and cooking charcoal from pine needles. We run a 9 kilowatt gasifier system which generates enough power for 100 people and over the next five years we will set up 20 such power plants generating 2.4 megawatts of power for 12 million people, generating 2,000 jobs, restoring 4,000 hectares of biodiversity and 60,000 carbon credits annually. So what was distressing to see every year is the forest fires. That's when we started exploring what can be done to stop these fires and there's so much energy there, how can we use that? This can only be done if we can give it an economic value. We cannot remove the, the, the pine needles, which, is the, which are the major cause of forest fires. We had to do something with the pine needles so that there's a push to remove them. There were people who were doing charcoal with pine needles, but that wasn't really sustainable because they were using a lot of uh, soil or cow dung for, as a binding material for doing those briquettes. People were not willing to give money for fuel because there's money, there's fuel in the forest, so those projects never succeeded. In one of the renewable energy conferences, I heard somebody talk about the gasifiers, the potential of using pine needles as a feedstock on gasifiers. Soon we hit the wall because we realized that the density is too low. We can't use this material on. You know, we were told that practically don't waste your time and our time. It won't work. We started working on very simple techniques of reducing density of the material which is just crush it you know and it was that simple it took us about two years to to address all those issues with the technology with people's mindset till we had our gasifier plant generating electricity continuously